What's going on everybody? I'm D Thomas from NC bringing you another video and today I'm going to be doing a review on Extreme Gaming Cabinets Super Mario Premium Pinball Machine. Now if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also if you enjoy these types of videos show your boys some L-O-V-E and hit that thumbs up. Now without further ado let's go ahead and dive into this review. So you want that premium pinball experience? Then look no further than ExtremeGamingCabinets.com.au Now whenever you visit their site, they have several different products for you to check out. They have a pinball machine which consists of a mini pin, a premium pin, or you can get a 2-in-1 pinball slash arcade, or a 3-in-1 pinball slash arcade slash light gun cab, which is what I have. They also have two player and four player cabinets, a racing cab, a light gun cab, in addition to a beast cage. Now it's like they literally have something for everyone depending on what you are in the market for. Now keep in mind that being that extreme gaming cabinets are based out of Australia, I do have to note that they have a US based website that sells their machines as well. And the machines on that site consist of a light gun, arcade shooter, the Beast Cade, and a premium extreme racing cabinet. I have the links to their websites down below in the description so you can check that out. Now that we've seen that, let's check out what you can expect from the delivery process. So as you can see right here, my pinball is in the back about to be delivered out of this 18 wheeler. Big shout out to the delivery guy, Mike from Poland. He was pretty cool, nothing but great vibes from the moment we met. But once he brought my machine up the driveway and into the garage, I signed the paperwork and he was on his way. Now, as you can see, Extreme Gaming Cabinets have this V-Pin package like Fort Knox. I mean, when it comes to shipping, they get an A plus on that because if I didn't know any better, I would think that they were shipping me King Tut's remains. Anyways, my homie Josh came through and we immediately went to work on disassembling the world's largest loot crate. After taking out multiple nails and screws, we finally were able to lay our eyes on this beautiful pinball machine. And I must say, it looks so good in person. I feel like videos don't really do it justice. Once we got all the packaging off, we took it upstairs to my game room, got everything connected and powered it up. Now I must add that after we assembled the machine, there was not a single screw missing. So kudos to Extreme Gaming Cabinet shipping department because when you're ordering something like this, this is the kind of shipping that I expect. Okay, so feast your eyes on this Super Mario Premium Pinball Machine. Now I want to let you guys know I do have quite a bit of upgrades on this. I went from a 120Hz screen to a 144Hz 4K screen. I uh, went from 16GB of RAM to 32GB of RAM. Got the custom D Thomas from NC Topper, which I'll show you guys whenever I move in a little bit closer. Got real leaf uh, pinball flipper buttons on both sides. Also, I have an extra drink uh, cup holder, which I don't have installed at the moment because the way I have this uh, pinball machine set up in the game room. Also, have a two in one package uh, that has 17,000 games, two terabyte that boasts big box as well as hyperspin and a removable control panel that has two mag sticks and four to eight way controls, which I'll show you right now. Here it is. I'm gonna show you guys how that looks whenever you put it on the machine. So you got player one and player two. You have a track ball on there. You have your start uh, and coin button for both player one and two. This right here is a pretty nice slick touch. Uh, what else do I have for these upgrades? Oh, so I got the three-in-one light gun drive with four LED, uh, with four sensors, with LEDs for the guns for IR. Also, I got the blower fan upgrade, which I'll show you guys a little bit later. And I got the powder coated coin door in addition to two Xbox controllers that are wired. And this right here is the first one. I love the color of this thing. It's pretty slick. Tell me that isn't dope. Thumbs up for this purple controller, guys because I just love the finish on this thing, all right? So that's one of the controllers, and the second one will be, it's kind of more basic in a sense. It's black, got the lime green finish on it. But let me know which one you like the best. I'm pretty sure the purple one will take the cake. So now that I've showed you and told you about some of the upgrades that I have on this thing, let's go ahead and move in a little bit closer and let's appreciate the artwork on this, guys. If you are a fan of Mario, how cool is this? <laughs> 
Sound off in the comment section if you are playing the new Super Mario Wonder. All right, so we got Mario on top of Yoshi, riding his back. Luigi, Peach, got Toad looking a little scared right there. Mario looked like he has star power as well. Got your boy Waluigi in the building, <laughs> along with the Koopa with the axe. Um, let's see, you got Bowser along with Baby Bowser. And I forgot my man's name right here. He's the magician. I forgot his name. But this looks really cool, guys. And of course, extremegamingcabinets.com.au. So as we continue to move on up and look at the side of the artwork, you got the bullet and Mario just jumping, using them superpowers, bruh. Tell me that isn't dope. Let's move in a little bit closer. And that is some clean artwork. If I don't say so myself, the designer over there, XGC, the streaming gaming cabinets, did a good job on this. I'm digging. And you see Bowser in the back, just faded just a little bit. All right. So for the legs, you got the green with the yellow accents. That is pretty dope. Let's move along to the front side of this cab or this V-pin. And I want to let you know, <laughs> I do got some carpet sliders or not carpet sliders, some furniture sliders on the bottom of this thing because it is a beast. My homeboy Josh and I had quite the time getting this thing upstairs. So on the front right here, you got Bowser spitting some hot fire. Got the start and back button up top right here. Got your fire select and punch it button. There's that powder coin door. You can open that up and I'm gonna show you guys on the inside of that a little bit later. Put your quarters up in there. I'm gonna show you guys how that works as well. And you got Mario throwing some hot fire right there. Nice cool uh, button right there. And then right here we have the plunger and it looks like a fireball, whether it's orange or blue, thrown by Mario himself. Moving along to the side guys, it pretty much mimics what is going on, what I just showed you guys. There's the cup holder, so if you wanna put your beverage up in there, you can do so. And there is the other side, it pretty much mimics everything what I just showed you guys all right so now that we've seen all that let's go up to the topper and let me show you guys that so custom topper you see it D Thomas from NC I love how that came out with Mario on the top Bowser them on the left and Peach them on the right and Toad is finally smiling let's go Mario <laughs> that's how he sound in the movie and then you got the I like to call them the 5-0 lights, the Jake. You got the police lights up top. So now, here are those LEDs I was telling you guys about. So you have four of them. You got one on the bottom. You got one over here on the right. You got another right there on the left. And you got one up top right there. And it does have an on-off switch. All right. You got your speakers right there. And then... So you got four screens on this thing, guys. So you got your pl you got your your monitor, 144 hertz, 4K screen. For this what 42 inches, if I'm not mistaken. You got this big screen right here, and then you got LED lights that go off right here when you're playing. Then I'll show you guys whenever I power it on. You got a LED strip right here on the left, as well as the right. And you just got all kind of stuff going on. So you got a screen here. You got a screen right there. You have another screen right here. And then up top, you have another screen that is going off. And then you guys will see that whenever I power the machine on. This thing has a lot going on. And also right here, if you look really close, that is where the air comes out whenever you are playing games like Twister. And you want to feel the air blowing. Feels really good. It, really, it keeps you immersed into the game. I've never seen anything like this. I just think that's a cool touch. So now that we've seen this machine, let's go up underneath and see what we got going on up under here. So, oh, maybe I need to get some light up under here. Maybe I don't. All right, so right here, you got the power button, the black button. This red button right here, you can use that to, it's like a F10 for a keyboard, but the way that they have it programmed, whenever you're playing 3D games, you can also use 
that for your 3D games. And then you have volume buttons over here, as well as on the side. And one thing I almost forgot to mention, since I just mentioned 3D, is the 3D glasses. So here are the 3D glasses that it came with as well. 3D optics, welcome to the third dimension. All right, and also another thing I almost forgot too, is this right here. So this right here is the volume knob, and you can just turn that up. You can sit it anywhere, and it'll turn your volume up and down. That's pretty cool. I got that sitting on the side. All right, so I said I wasn't gonna go up under the machine. Let's, let's go ahead and go up under here and see what we got going on. So on the left and right hand side, more LEDs, more lights. It's just a straight up light show. It's like that on the left hand side as well as, as, well as the right hand side. You got your subwoofer and you got your fan right there. And then right here coming out of the back, that is your plug. I just have it tucked up in there. And there it is. And don't worry, they do supply you with an adapter so you don't have to worry about not being able to plug this up if you are in the United States of America. All right, so that is pretty much it when it comes to this machine or this V-Pin. You guys have seen what it looks like on the outside. So now let's go ahead and show you guys what the guts look like, shall we? Oh, real quick, before we go on the inside, I just wanted to show you what the controller panel looks like on top of the V-Pin. Now, one thing I forgot to mention that, if you didn't already know, this is glass that's on top. And you don't have to worry about this damaging your pinball machine because as you can see, let me lift this up. This right here has like some felt soft material right here to protect your machine. So you don't have to worry about any paint scratching or anything like that because this is well thought out if you were to get this additional upgrade. And also the way you plug that up, which I forgot to show you guys, is right here on the side. So you got your cords coming out right here and on the side, you got those two slots for USB. You just take both of those, plug them up, and you're off to the races. So I'll show you guys some gameplay on those a little bit later. Okay, so before we have a look on the inside of this pinball machine, I want to show you what would actually happen if you were to put real quarters or coins on the inside of this machine. Now, although it has legitimate <laughs> coin doors, that doesn't mean you necessarily have to put quarters in there to play games. All right, so let's just say if you got some kids or if you were to actually put quarters in here, and you can hear that the money fell to the bottom. Now, it didn't go to the bottom right here, all right? It didn't go inside the coin door catcher. It went on the inside of the machine. So as we open it up and have a look on the inside, and you can see that your quarter is right there on the bottom. So if you ever were to put money on the inside of this thing, you don't have to worry about losing out. All that will happen is whenever you put it in, it just comes out of the slot right here. I have another quarter so I can show you what that looks like. And it just fell on the floor. So you don't have to worry about losing coins. So now that we are on the inside of this, just have a look. You have controls for the speakers, the bass shaker. Over here to the right, we have the shaker motor and you can adjust that up and down as you see like. All right, warning, do not put your fingers near the motor while power is on. All right, so they do have warning labels on this thing. Over here to the right, we have uh, the matrix lights as well as the solenoids, and you can turn them on and off. And you have to appreciate the wire and cable management that is happening on the inside of this machine. Sound off in the comment section below and let me know what do you think about the cable management, rate it from a scale one to 10. Now, right here where it says matrix lights and solenoids, I wanna show you guys what that does. So let's see, I turned off one of the lights. So let's say if I wanted, so feast your eyes on this button here, as well as this button down here. If I hit the switch, basically 
it will turn those lights off. All right, same thing happens for the coin door lights. You were to hit that switch and if you don't want those lights on all the time, you can turn those on and off. All right, so what you guys see, this is the heart and soul of this pinball machine, okay? Also right here, this is the 144 Hertz Asus monitor that's plugged up and mounted up here, all right? But again, everything that's happening inside of this cabinet, you're looking at it right here. This is all what makes this thing works. And right here in front of us, is that a subwoofer speaker? Let's see. Well, I'll go, whenever I go to the back side, you guys will see what it looks like from the back. But this is what it looks like on the inside. All right. So now that we've had a look at what things look like going inside of the corn door, let's go ahead and check things out on the back, shall we? Okay, so we are at the back of the machine and I'll start up top. Up here, you just have your cables and everything that goes to the topper. Moving on down, you have two keys, one on the left and one on the right. Let's go ahead and just remove this door right here to reveal the inside of what's going on. So you have an LG TV right here and you have your JVC speakers on the left and right hand side. And along the side, you got some more cables right on over there. Okay. Cable management going up the left hand side. And you may be wondering what this is. So whenever you're playing games like Twister, uh, it's pretty cool because this actually is a wind tunnel and it blows air out of the front. I've never seen anything like this. Pretty cool. Have you pretty immersive into the game. Now, moving right on down bottom here, you have more cables and adapters. And you have a hole cut out right there to reveal the inside of the lower half of the V-pin. And you have the same thing going on over here as well. So that's the backside top portion of it. Let's move down lower. And you got a big attention install two bolts securely. So you have two fans right there. So you don't have to worry about anything overheating and I'm digging the X's on the back as well. All right, so let's go ahead, turn the key and open that up and you get to see what is going on the inside. So like I just mentioned, the cable management continues and you gotta appreciate how everything is labeled. Now it is a little dusty in here, but that's no big deal. But you see you have your power supplies, all your, H, your HDMI ports, as well as USB ports. A lot going on in here, but it seems like everything is in its perspective place. All right, so you have the 2.0 Extreme Gaming Cabinets SSD right there. And there is the, let's see, zoom in. You got the Hyperspin, the two-in-one. Uh, this right is the D-Drive Big Box Hyperspin. All right, you got your graphics card right there now let me just continue to go on the inside of this and again guys sound off in the comment section and let me know what you think about all of this wiring cable management on a scale from one to ten but it seems to me these guys did a pretty good job also one thing i forgot to add that comes with this remote so if you want to turn off the lighting on the inside have an on and off switch you can just press off and the lights on the inside of this cabinet will turn off. The little LEDs up there, you can turn them on, hit the on button, and they will turn back on. Also comes with the remote control for the ASUS monitor, all right? But yeah, doesn't get any closer than this to see what is all going on on the inside of this V-Pen. Got your fan and controller over there. That's that cutout going to the top portion of the V-Pin. You have some, some Logi speakers on the left and right hand side right there. And it just goes up into the top half. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And the last thing I wanna show you is you can pull this out. 
So it has a pullout drawer. So I guess if you want to get even more closer and personal to see what's happening back here, you can. Need to get a blower in here and blow some of this dust out. But yeah, guys, RGB fans all in here. See if I can get any closer. All premium. Premium build, guys. So now that we've seen what it looks like from the front side, the back side, the inside, the guts of this machine, let's just say we go ahead and get it powered on and see what this thing can do. And when you're all done, you can just close that right on up, turn the key, it locks into place, and you're good to go. Oh, and one last thing I forgot to show you. So this is the plug that it comes with, but don't worry, you will get an adapter if you don't live in Australia. You can plug this right into your wall. So don't worry, they got you covered on that. Okay, so now I have the pinball machine powered on. And as you can see, it is loaded up on Arcade Classics. Now this is the main home screen that you will see whenever you boot up your machine. Now I'm gonna show you guys how this Arcade Classics works a little bit later, uh, utilizing the control panel. But let me show you guys. So you got your favorites tab, running VPN 2.0, all right? Also, we have VPN Workshop. You got your pinball effects, your visual pinball, Super Mario Brothers tables, and then you got tables from A to Z. So every game or every table within this cab from A to Z is in this category, all right? And then we are back to the arcade classics. Now guys, you got your left and right flipper. I like whenever you are flipping to the right, you see the beam, how it shoots up the side like that. I like that. And then whenever you're pressing the one on the left, you got that on the left. That's pretty dope. I like that. Another cool thing. So let's just say the volume is at 100% and you want to turn the volume down. So you have three flipper buttons on the right side and two on the left side. So the one on the very bottom on the right hand side, let's just say the volume is at 100% max. If you press that one on the side, it'll take the volume down to 50%. So say if it's too loud and you just want to kill it to 50%, you can do that. And then if you want to turn it right back up, you just press it again and it'll turn it back up. Now, the second uh, button on the right hand side, as well as the button on the left hand side, the second one, Basically, you use those to flip through the category. So let's just say if we were in, let's go to tables A to Z. And let's just say, no, that's not a good, that's not a good. Let's just say, let's go to, let's go to VPN Workshop. So basically, all these games, all these tables are alphabetized. So if you press those two middle flippers on the right, they'll basically go to the next letter. So you see it's going to A, B, C, D, now we're in the G's, H, I's, and that's what that does going to the right when you press the one on the right and then the second one on the left, it just goes, it does the opposite. It goes to the perspective letter going the opposite way, all right? So let's back out of that. So now that I showed you that, let's just say if you have this machine on and you want to back out for whatever reason. So wherever you, you know, on the coin door, you just press that in and you can exit the system, you can shut down the system, and you can also restart the system, all right? So if you ever wanna back out, restart, or exit the system, that's how you do that. And below the start button is a red button. That is always going to be your exit or your backup button, okay? So, what I want to do now is go into the favorites tab. Wrong favorite, let's go into the VPN 2.0. Now that we're in the VPN 2.0, there are a lot of tables in here. And guys, I want to show you one of my, some, let's go to the favorites tab because there are a lot of different tables in here. You got Future Pinball, Burning Rubber. You got 18 plus for adults only. <laughs> you see what's going on on screen. I'll tell y'all more about that later. But let's go to the favorites table. This is what I wanted to show you guys. So whenever you get to the favorites table, this is all of the tables that are considered favorite by a lot of fans. And you can add your own in here. But one of the tables I wanna showcase first, guys, is this Attack from Mars. This is a pretty cool looking table. And what I like about this particular 
table so much is that it utilizes everything that this machine has to offer. What I mean by that, so let's just say if you got the upgraded blower, so it uses, it utilizes the blower. You got one heck of a light show that's going off. It rumbles and shakes and everything. So let's go ahead and add some quarters to this machine digitally. You hear that? It literally sounds like you're dropping a quarter inside of this machine. Let's go ahead and start it up. Now I wanna let you know with some of these VPAN machines, if the plunger doesn't work for it, you can just hit the button up under the plunger and that'll still launch the ball as well. Let me give it a little volume. All right, let's go ahead and get it started. Oh, it's gonna be the button. The plunger doesn't work for this one, so it's gonna be the button. All right. I'm gonna see if I'm able to, see if I'm able to get the wind blowing. Try to get me. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's run that back. I didn't do that good. So if you if you launch the ball straight up into the middle, you will hit the alien ship, and you can feel the wind blowing. It's so dope. It's, it's very immersive. Let me pay attention to what's going on. Around the world. Where's my ball? What happened to my ball? And another cool thing is too, guys, on the back screen where the scoreboard is, you got a little video playing. Oh. Can you guys hear that? I can feel the wind blowing in my face right now. And the floor is shaking like crazy. Oh my gosh. This is a really dope table, guys. Oh, almost got me. Ooh, watch how fast the ball come out. Ah. Uh, Got it, almost got it, hold up. Oh, come on. Get up in there. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm telling you. You can lose track of time playing these pinball games. All right, last one, and then I'm gonna back out, guys. Cause I'll mess around and be in here all day. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at the camera. I got another ball. Last one. Last shot. Uh, got him. So guys, if you were to get the upgraded feature uh, with the wind blowing in your face, I don't think it's gimmicky. It's really dope. I really like it. Not exactly sure how I was gonna like it before I got it, but it actually works pretty well. So now that game is over with, one heck of a light show. I mean, lights are going off everywhere on this thing. So let's go ahead and back out. Next thing I wanna show you guys, something really cool too. Let's go to this Batman table. And let me reach over here for my 3D glasses. So, What's pretty cool about this, guys, so you can plug up a wireless keyboard to this thing, right? So the way they have it set up, you can press F10 on your wireless keyboard and that would activate the 3D feature. Or there's a button underneath. You have the power button on the right-hand side and right next to the power button, you have another button and that activates the 3D feature. So if you're looking at the screen right now, and let's see, where is the button at? Right there. I press that right there and that activates the 3D feature. All right? So when you have the 3D feature on, you throw on these 3D glasses right here and it changes the whole look of the game. Now, is the 3D feature working? Yes, it is. It looks pretty dope. Uh, do you necessarily need this to have a good time on this pinball machine? No, you do not. 
but it is a cool feature to show your friends like hey bro you want to play some pinball in 3d you can do it right here and it looks really cool so let's go ahead start it up oh and the floor is shaking i don't know what kind of motors they got on the inside of this thing but it definitely rumbles the whole floor i mean everything is shaking it's cool though i like it And the fact that, you know, I'm sitting here playing pinball in 3D, it's kind of dope. Now, I haven't tried this 3D feature for every table. Oh, oh, snap. I missed my ball. I haven't tried this for every table on here, but there are quite a few of them that I have tried and it does work. All right. And let's just say, if you're playing this, and you don't care to use the 3D feature, you can simply just turn it off. That was loud, I thought something fell. <laughs> I got two balls up here, that's what's going on. I lost one, I lost one. So, I, oh it bounced. Hit this last one. And bam, oh, I tried to get it in the back cave, right down the middle. So what looks 3D on here, mostly like this area right up in here, you can really tell with the glasses on, you can tell the 3D effect. The back cave, you can really tell it's like 3D. And right over here by the flippers, it looks 3D. So that's pretty cool. Let me go ahead and turn that off, take the glasses off. And you can just go back to regularly playing this table. And it looks just as good right now. I'm, I'm pretty sure these cameras aren't doing it any justice, but this looks good. Uh, let's go ahead and back out of this. All right. So you got Guardians of the Galaxy, Indiana Jones, but another table, turn the volume down just a little, another table that I want to show you guys that is like super dope and definitely worth playing is this Sonic Pinball. Oh my goodness. You get yourselves one of these machines, you owe it to yourself to play this Sonic Pinball. Sonic Pinball Mania is probably one of my top five tables on here. And I'm a new, uh, I, 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 my new favorite table as well has been Attack, uh, the Attack from um, Mars. I think that's the name of it, Attack from Mars. But yeah, whenever you select your table, sometimes some of them boot up quicker than others. You just sit and chill. Once you press that button, you don't want to press anything else. Allow the table time to boot up. And once it boots up, guys, I'm telling you, look at how good this Sonic Pinball Mania table looks. I mean, this is beautiful. Nothing against original regular pinball machines, but having a virtual pinball machine and access to all these different tables is just super amazing let me see if the 3d feature works on here i'm not sure i never tried it on sonic see this that's what it, when you activate the 3d feature on sonic you get that right there so you're not going to want to play like that all right so let's go ahead and listen at the soundtrack i love that all right let's get started all right let's hit a couple balls I love the music, bro. Let's go. Let's get it in. And guys, I'm going to tell you right now. There are so many tables on here. Please forgive me. back out uh, so many tables on here so please forgive me if I'm skipping through these games kind of fast I'll be back to show you guys some more tables in later videos because I'll be here all day and this will be a super long video trying to showcase all these tables but listen to this right here that's so dope all right let's play this one
doesn't get any better than this, guys. Come on, Sonic. Come on, bro. There we go. Get up in there, boy. Man, this joint looks so good on this 144 hertz screen 4K. Beautiful, so beautiful. All right, I'm gonna play this last ball. Oh, I thought I lost it, guys. And believe it or not, Even though this is a Mario uh, pinball design, Sonic has a way better table than Mario. All right, so that's gonna be Sonic Pinball Mania. You get yourselves one of these machines, this is a must play. And we all know this is what, Green Hill Zone music? Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and back out of that. Sonic Pinball Mania, oh man, gotta love that, all right. So let's see what well, we got Star Trek up in here, Star Wars, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, The Walking Dead, Theater, Magic. Oh, I got to show you guys Tales of the Arabian Night because this right here also is another one of my most favorite pinball tables to play. Oh my gosh. I love this game, guys. So look at the table. Look at all, it just looks luxurious. You got your genie up there, you got your gold. Man, let's, let's go ahead and get rich real quick. Let's get rich. My goal is to have, eventually, is to have the highest score on this game right here. Let's go. Let's go, baby. And I think this table, shoot. This table uses all of the features as well. Makes the wind blow, I think. You feel that vibration? Y'all can't feel it, but you hear that vibration? That is thunderous. Oh no, 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 no. All right, let's run it back. Man, look how beautiful this table is, bruh. All right, let's run it back. And you know what, like I was saying earlier, nothing against original pinball machines, but I personally just don't have this. I don't have the space to store 15, 20 different pinball tables. If I did, believe me, I will have a couple classic tables in my game room. But undeniably guys, oh, why does it keep going straight down the middle? But undeniably, this right here is a great pinball machine. Been having a blast since I had it. All right, one more ball. Last one. I'm not doing so well right now. But best, be best believe later. Oh, come on. Give me another one. Give me another ball. That's it. Uh, I play like garbage, bro. That's all I got was 698. That wasn't enough. And guys, you see, you see how the lights are going off? It's a straight up light show in here. All right, so let me go ahead and back out of that. Tales of the Arabian Night. What else? Did I go through every game in here? Adam's Family, Attack on Mars. Okay, I went through all the games that is in the favorites. So you can press the button on the bottom up under the start button to go back or you can just go to go back and press on the fire button. All right, so that was the favorites tables. Uh, we got the ultimate future pinball pin event. Blue versus pink. F-14 Tomcat. I almost went into the Air Force just to fly one of those, but I ended up going into the Army. 
Oh, I'm tripping. <laughs> All right, you got a Halloween pin event. Uh, Indiana Jones. I love that Jaws table. You got Junkyard Cats. What else we got up in here? Robocop. There's that Sonic Mania again. All right. And that's pretty much it in here, all right? So again, this adults only table, <laughs> 18 and older. So whenever you... All right, so my camera battery had died. What I was saying is, once you put that passcode in on this, you will have access to the adults only table. But like I said, I'm gonna save that for another time. Let's go ahead and back out of there. And then you have your burning rubber table. So if we go up inside there, you got a lot of drag racing and car type uh, oriented tables. So you got Mustang, you got the 250. Oh my goodness. All right, what else we got? Ace of, not Ace of Spade, you got Ace of Speed. All right, Corvette. My mom got me a Corvette. <laughs> she sure did. Oh, you gotta love the Dukes of Hazard. Classic. All right, what else we got? The Getaway, High Speed. Got the Grand Prix. Harley Davidson. Gotta love the Harley. All right, what else we got? High Speed, another Harley Davidson table. NASCAR, Knight Rider. Dun -dun, dun -dun. All right, No Fear, Dangerous Sports, Death Proof. Rally, I mean, you got so many different tables on here. Road Girls, did I say Road Girls? Yes, Road Girls. What else we got, guys? Victory. Come on, drive, stay alive. Viper Night Driving in Indianapolis 500. I like the way that red, green, and yellow stoplight is there. Plus, I like how it's playing on the back screen. That's pretty dope. All right, let's back out of there. Future Pinball Tables, Future Pinball. Got a plethora of uh, games up in here. So we got Aliens, the Legacy Joint. Got a total of 25 titles up in here. Batman, Deadpool, Fat Albert, Flash Gordon, Gone in 60 Seconds with Nicolas Cage. All right, Gremlins, Hungry Dead, Iron Maiden, The Jungle Girl. I wonder if this table is in 3D. It looked like it has, it looked like it can play in 3D. All right, Jurassic Park, we just saw the Knight Rider, Mad Max, and that dude, He-Man, Masters, and the Masters of the Universe. You got the power of Grave Skull, huh? Sound off in the comment section if you remember He-Man. Might be showing my age right now. <laughs> that boy, Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street, Phantom, Planet of the Apes, and there's that Road Girls, again, got Robocop, Star Trek, Superman, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And that's pretty much in the future pinball. And then you got these spooky tables. They go Charles Lee Ray, AKA Chucky. Bone Buster, Dracula, Bubba. <laughs> the Redneck Werewolf. Never heard of that before. <laughs> of course you got Child's Play. All right, Creature from the Black Lagoon. So you got a black and white table, and then you have this color table, and it says real 3D. So I wonder if you can play this in 3D. Hold on. I just want to boot this table up just to see if it has that 3D feature in it. Let's find out as soon as this table loads up. Curiosity getting the best of me, guys. And I still got so much more to show you. All right, let me just see. Um, yep, it sure does. Let me see how good it looks. Let's see how good the 3D feature looks. Um, oh, wow. That looks pretty good, all right. Okay. That's all I wanted to see. Just had to check and make sure. I see you, Creature from the Black Lagoon. All right, we got Dark Princess, Dark Princess, Dark Princess. All right, Devil's Dare, more Dracula. Elvira, Elvira. And the party animals. She got two games. Yeah, she got two games. Two different tables. Again, there to that boy Freddy, Gremlins, Mike Myers and Halloween, Haunted House. You got Stephen King's It. 
Frankenstein make an appearance on this mug. And I think that is pretty much it. You got the Monsters, Simpsons, South Park, Tales from the Crypt. Oh, I remember this dude. The Walking Dead and Michael Jackson's, they got Thriller on this joint. I gotta play Thriller, bro. <laughs> I gotta come back and play the Thriller. All right, so we got the kids table as well. So if you got some little kids, they wanna get some action in, they can get it in on the kids table. You got the old school Spider-Man right here. The, oh, 1966 Batman. That's the old joint. That's the one with Adam West, right? Back to the Future, Batman Forever. Crash Bandicoot got his own table as well as Cuphead. All right. Got Disney's Pixar Luca making an appearance up in here as well as DuckTales. All of my 90s babies, 80s babies, sound off in the comment section if you remember DuckTales. All right, Fat Albert, The Flash, Frozen, Jurassic Park, Last Action Hero. I know this looks good in 3D. Uh, let's see, Looney Tunes. Got He-Man showing coming up again. Minions, Pac-Man, Pirates of the Caribbean. And that boy Popeye the same. Man, I haven't seen a Popeye cartoon in forever, bro. Popeye had his own arcade game too. I remember playing that joint in the gas station. All right, Road Runner, Scooby Doo and Kiss. They got a game together. That's dope. Sesame Street, Smurfette got her own joint. Of course, you got Super Mario, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Superman, and the Goonies. That's a throwback. Tom and Jerry. Uh, X-Men, Moana, okay, let's back out. Movies, movies tables. Okay, so we got Deadpool, GoldenEye. Guys, I'm telling you, it's a lot of tables on this joint. Okay, Attack, Attack from Mars, Avatar. Avatar Way of the Water, that was, that was a dope movie. The game is looking pretty good too. I can't wait to see what that is going to be like. Of course, you know we got the Avengers up in here. Back to the Future. I mean, look at this, guys. We saw that bubble already. We saw that one. So I guess you have different... Sometimes, I guess it seems like a game is in one category, and then it'd be in another uh, different uh, category as well. No big deal. Flash Gordon, we already saw that. Ghostbusters. Hook, Indiana Jones. Okay, so we get the drift. All the different movies. All right. So much more to explore. Music tables. Let's see what the music tables had to offer. We got some ACDC. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Got some Elvis up in there. Guns and Roses. Iron Maiden. <laughs> got the Iron Maiden up in there. Let's see, Kiss. Michael Jackson. I did not know Michael Jackson had a table, bruh. All right, Tommy, you got the Beatles, and that's pretty much gonna be it for the music table. All right, so we got the originals up in here. We saw Back to the Future, Crash. Okay, so we've seen some of these tables that I'm breezing through real quick. Rocky, Star Trek, Super Mario. I gotta show you guys a Super Mario table. Being that this is a Super Mario cab, I gotta at least show one Super Mario table. All right, pup packs. We'll go, we'll go back uh, the opposite way this time. So we got Fifth Element, Sin City. Let me tell you something, brother. We got WWF Royal Rumble. Boy, look at my boy, what Ultimate Warrior back there, bruh. Watchmen, okay, we saw The Walking Dead. We saw Terminator, Twister. Let me show you guys Twister because this is another game that takes advantage of the wind blower that is in this machine. So you get a crazy light show as well as a lot of shaking and rumbling. And it's like every time the ball rolls over the tornado on screen, uh, the wind just goes off and you can feel it. I wish you guys could feel it too. All right, let's go ahead and add some money to this. And let's start it up. It's already blowing. I can feel it right now. You hear that? It's the wind blowing. All right, where my ball at? Let's go. That noise that you hear, 
That's that wind being activated, guys. And it's not annoying. But you can't hear it though. And I feel like it, it blows the most in this type of game. It's twister, it makes sense for it to blow like that, you know? Doing pretty good so far. Oh, come on. Ooh, let's go. Look at all the lights. Oh! They stuck me for my ball, bro. So yeah. This is gonna be Twister, guys. Oh, right down the middle. Dang. Is that it? I know that's not it. Oh, I got another ball, but I'm just gonna go ahead and back out. Twister is another table that you definitely have to try out, all right? So we got Twilight Zone, and guys, I don't know why. My nose is itching, man. We got Tron, Transformers, Tintin. 10. I remember the adventures of Ren 10, 10, 10. All right, we saw Walking Dead, The Shadow. We got some Flintstones, more turtles. And while I'm on it, let me show you guys this Mario table real quick. So I think Mario has like four or five different tables. This is another one, uh, one that I played before, and it's not bad. It don't have nothing on that Sonic table, but it's pretty cool, it's Mario. And I could not show you guys a Mario table, okay? So let's go ahead and add our money to this thing. And let's go ahead and start it up. And the volume, volume is kind of low. Let me turn this up a little bit. Oh, I'm messing with the volume and I lost the ball. Let's run it back one more time. I do you some justice this time, Mario. Oh my gosh. I spoke too soon. Spoke way too soon, bro. Oh! One last ball. All right. Last one. I don't know why. Seems like the ball on this one, it intentionally wants to keep rolling straight down the middle, bro. Ah, uh, uh, come on, let me get three in a row, bro. Uh, let's go. Now, guys, I'm going to let it go out. You know what would have been really cool? If you can take the little Amiibos and, like, hover over some here and get, like, some kind of extra super special ball, that would have been dope. All right, so that's Mario. Had to show you guys that cabinet. Star Wars, Space Jam. I didn't know Jordan was on this joint. I ain't know Space Jam was on here, bruh. We got the Sopranos, we saw the Simpsons, we saw Robocop, Pizza Time. We seen Johnny Depp before on here. Um, let's see, that Boba Fett, bruh. The Mandalorian, Last Action Hero. Okay, we saw most of these tables already. Jaws is a pretty dope table. And of course, you already know Iron Man. All right, so what else we got? I think that is about it in this area. Most of these tables I've already seen before. Let's back out of this one. So that's the pup packs. Of course, you go into the retro table and you got a lot of retro uh, joints that you can play. So I'm gonna breeze through these really quick because I do not want to make this video no longer than what it already is. And like I said before, guys, if I'm, if I'm breezing through this too fast and I'm going past one of your favorite pen tables, my apologies, but it's just way too many tables in here to showcase this all in one video. This big hit looks dope. All right. So in here you have a total of 366, 366 tables. More than I'll be able to play. Let's back out. So that's what the retro table looks like. Let's go inside, okay, is this a sports? So we already saw some of these. Um, you got your soccer joints up in here. 
You got your NASCAR head as well as your basketball. All right. This rally table looks pretty cool, right? Definitely old school for sure. All right. So let's back out of that. Sci-fi. I think, have I, I don't know if I went to this sci-fi table or not. No, because I would have remembered E.T. So you will play some E.T. phone home. You can play that. Of course, we've seen Star Trek. We've seen Star Wars. What else is up in here? That's pretty much should be all of the sci-fi. Cybernaut and Blade Runner. So that's pretty much it for the sci-fi table. TV tables, I think we've already covered that as well. No, I did not because I would have remembered your boy David Hasselhoff, Baywatch, Pamela Lee. Yeah, I would have remembered this. All right, so you got Baywatch, CSI, Family Guy, real dope table. We saw The Flash, The Hulk, I Dream of Genie. That's a classic as well. How do you, sound off in the comment section if you remember I Dream of Genie. All right, Married with Children. I didn't know Ed Bundy then was on here as well. All right, Scooby Doing Kiss, we saw that already. Sopranos. So most of these tables we already saw as well. Then you got the X-Files. That was a dope show that used to come on Fox all the time. All right, <clears throat> Strange Science, Four Queens, still rumbling through these tables, guys. Amigo. Comprende ese? Balls are popping. All right. <laughs> All right, Attack from Mars, uh, Black Rose, Champion. Oh, I like that in the back. The Champion Pub. Dude getting, they spilling. What is that? Is he holding a drink? I don't know. Shorty's back there holding the drinks. I like that in the back. That's pretty dope. All right, what else we got? Creature from the Black Lagoon. We already saw that as well. Uh, what else we got up in here, guys? Big Valley. I mean, you get it. I mean, the list just seems like it just goes on and on. I think this is the first Bugs Bunny that I came across other than the Looney Tunes one. Okay. Champion Pub, didn't I just see that one? All right, so let's go ahead. Is that Dolly Parton? Boy, Dolly Parton got her own table up in here. I did not know that. <laughs> okay, so as we continue on, guys, you got your 50s, your 60s, your 70s, your 80s, your 90s, and the 2000s. So let's just say for all my 80s babies, you go into the 80s table, you see what we got up in here. I think I already went through this before. I'm feeling like I did. Not sure if I didn't, but there's so much more to go, guys. I'm gonna have to like come back and do a video on these tables individually. All right, so. What I want to do now is back out of this. And let's just say if you go to tables A to Z, you can just pick just pick a letter. You come to E, and every game in this table that starts with the E should be in here. Eclipse. Never heard of it before. All right. We go to the K's. What we got? Cruel. Night Rider, Kiss Joints, Kingpin, Kim. What's up, Kim? How you doing? All right. So another thing I'm going to show you guys is the arcade classics. Let's see. I'll show you A to Z, VPN 2.0. Did I show you the workshop? Yeah, I think I showed you the workshop. Uh, did I show you this one? I think I did. All these visual pinball tables, and all you know, when it comes to these games, you got 107 different tables in here, and all of these joints look absolutely stunning. So I think I showed you that as well. This is the visual pinball. I think I showed you that also. The Mario Brothers. I mentioned it, but they only have four games in there, A to Z. But okay, so arcade classics. I'm going to put the control panel on here. And show you guys what it's like whenever you are playing games with the control panel it's pretty dope so not only can you play vpn games in here if you want to play some main arcade titles you can do that as well and i'm going to show you guys that right now
Okay, so I have the control panel on top of the V-Pin. I got it connected on the side uh, on the two USB slots. So now let's go ahead and go inside Arcade Classics. And you got a total of 75 different um, games that you can play within this uh, Arcade Classics. So you got 1941, 1943, you got Afterburner. Uh, let's see what else we got up in here. Airwolf, Altered Beast, Asterix. What was that? Avengers? Made by Capcom? That never had a console release. All right, what else we got in here? We got Bad Dudes. So let's just say if you want to play Bad Dudes, right? Let's go ahead and select that. Show you guys how it works real quick. So you select Bad Dudes, and on the control panel itself, you have a start and coin button. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add some coins, all right? And hit the start button. And if you played this game before, oops. If you played this game before, you already know what happens. The president has been kidnapped and you gotta save him. All right, so there it is. And let's just say if you're in here, you finish playing pinball, you wanna play some bad dudes or something. Oh, I got stabbed with a nigga. Oh my gosh. Let's jump down. And let's just say if you're playing this and your homies come over and they wanna help you save the president as well, they can come over and join you. And how is it that if I walk this way, the ninja star hurt my feet, but it won't hurt the ninja, the other guy's feet. That's crazy. That's a design flaw, bro. So if you got a partner that want to come through and play with you, no big deal. You know, it's like 20 ninjas on screen. What the heck, bro? <laughs> so let me just queue up player two. Now player two is in here. I'm gonna try to play them both at the same time. So both of y'all can be in here kicking butt. Kind of hard to play too, please. Kick him. Get the soda. Get the pop. All right. So that is bad dudes. Two player action with this control panel. Let's go ahead and back out. The same way you back out of your VPN games, you back out of this game as well. All right. So that is bad dudes. Oh, what else we got? Blast off. Uh, bomb jack centipede okay so let, let me show you guys how the trackball work with centipede this right here is like a mini uh trackball kind of like the same size you would see in the arcade one up so let's go ahead and add some coins and guys we're playing some centipede just like that control feels really good Now, typically you would want to stand up and play this. Like right now I'm sitting down and when I, whenever I take this little alien guy to the bottom of the screen, I can't see him. About right here is about the furthest I can see where he's at right now. When I go this low right here, I can't see him no more. <laughs> so when you're standing up playing this, it doesn't, this control panel does not block your view. All right. But when you're sitting down at the angle that I'm at right now, it blocks your view a little bit. But yeah, if you want to come on here and play some Centipede, you can do that. This is one of my wife's favorite arcade games to play. I know she has like the high score on one of my other arcade machines. And I'm determined one day to catch up with her. All right. So that is Centipede. Let's show you the rest of the games on here that you can play. All right. So we got Cosmic Cop, which is a really dope looking game, by the way. <clears throat> oh, what's this? Cyberlip. Uh, Double Dragon 1 and 2. Uh, what is this? Oh, and 3. 1, 2, and 3. Dig Dug. Uh, Donkey Kong. They got a new game coming out. Damn, that jump dropped in 1981. That's crazy. All right, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong 3. Donkey Kong Jr. Eyes. Galaga. Gal Galaxian. Uh, Gang Ryu. Uh, Gang Yu. All right. Uh, what else we got? Real Ghostbusters, Ghouls and Ghosts, Golden Axe, Gunsmoke, uh, what was that? Gyrus? Gyrus? Space, what was that? Space Invaders? Space Invaders, Legendary Wings, Mappy, Moon War, Mr. Do. Of course, you can come in here and play some Miss Pac-Man if you want to. Pac-Mania. 
Asteroid, Phoenix, what was that? Plus, Plus Alpha, more Pac-Man, and Qbert. Is that it? Raiden 1, Raiden 2, Scramble. That's Scramble, boy. All right, Space Fever, Space Invaders, Time Pilot, Tubin, and I think, what, Turtles? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, bruh. <laughs> this is before the Turtles were who they are. All right, Twin Cobra, Twin Eagle 2. And uh, I think this is going to be it, guys. So that is all of your arcade classic games. So now I'm gonna show you what you can expect if you were to get the upgraded to where you can play the gun games as well as Big Box utilizing the back screen. Okay, so now I have Big Box running on the back of this V-Pen, pretty dope. So I'm navigating this with this wireless keyboard. You can navigate like that or you can have your controller plugged in and you can navigate like that as well, which is what I'm using right now. So let's go to, I don't know, let's just say if we wanted to play, we got Super Nintendo, we got MAME up in here. So let's just say if you want to play some Sega Genesis, right? And you can search by holding left or right on the D-pad or left or right on the uh, keyboard. And let's just say if we wanted to play, I don't know, let's go to one of my Sega, my favorites on Sega Genesis, Streets of Rage 2. So say if you want to play some Streets of Rage 2, you just select that. You're going to go to this screen right here and you're just going to select that you want to play. All right. Extreme Gaming Cabinets, Streets of Rage 2. And I wanna let you guys know that this game does has bezel artwork. I think most of the games, uh, consoles, retro consoles on here, they do have dedicated bezel artwork. Let's go ahead and skip past that. One player game. And let's play with Blaze. And I think it's pretty dope that, you know, you can go in here and play a whole bunch of VPN games. And once you get your fix, your VPN fix out of the way, once you scratch that itch, you can come on here and play some retro gaming as well. So it literally is almost like a three in one type of combination of like, this is your one stop shop for games. And what I mean by that is, you got your virtual pinball machine that you can come in here and play, right? Then, you can hop on and play these retro games, consoles, main, you can play that. And then also, if you got a set of light guns, whether it be Sending or Gun for IR, you can plug those up and play some shooting games, which I'll show you guys in a second. So here we are walking down on Streets of Rage, kicking butt. So once you're done with that, pause the game. You can press escape on the keyboard and you can quickly back out of that. So let's back up. So that's your Sega Genesis on the V-Pen. Same thing goes for Super Nintendo, guys. You wanna play some SNES? You wanna play some Legend of Zelda? You can have at it. Whatever you wanna play, on here and if i'm not mistaken this is a full set of snes games as well you want to play some old school madden 95 have at it it's right here and i remember we used to my cousins and i we used to walk and walk to the store and rent these games and now i got them on here digitally you can play them anytime i feel like it all right so it has a total of 775 games now, I don't know what's up with the time and date because it is definitely not 6.21 p.m. right now. I don't really know how to set that or change that or remove it, but it's all good. Some might find it to be an eyesore, but to me, I really don't care. Okay, so what else we got on here? Namco Classics. Uh, let's go to MAME. Let me show you guys uh, how you can play MAME on this as well. So let's go to MAME, and this is one of my favorite games, Running Gun. The whole Running Gun series is one of my favorites, right? So let's just say if you wanna play some Running Gun, right? Come up in here, you hit play, and you can dive into some Running Gun. 
All right, let's go ahead and skip that and get a couple shots off. I just wanted to show you guys Maine running on this as well. Got the ball first, and I'm going to pull up for a three-pointer. Cash. Ah, uh, come on, boy. Try to get the steal, didn't get it. You got to be able to hit this three, bro. Cash. Let's go. Got the lucky roll, but it went in. Come on in, get that. Oh, that should have been a block. That should have been a block, bruh. Well, these dudes do not go for the pump fake on this one. That probably was Sean Kemp. No, he's not center. Sean Kemp is a power forward. All right, let me get one more shot. And I'll back out of this. See if I can pull up. Alley oop. Ooh. So any game you want to come in here and play, you can do. Have a good time. Two player main, four player main. Let me show you the, the rest of the categories on here. We got Atari. You got to beat em up category. What else? Capcom Classics, Data East Classics, your fighting games, IRAM, Konami Classics. Okay, I, I saw GI, I thought that was GI Joe. Okay. All right, you got Maze Games, Midway Classics. I mean, it's all here, guys. So, not only can you play all these games that I'm showing you right now, but you also can play gun games. So let me go and get my Gun for IR and plug those up and show you guys a couple of shooting games, all right? All right, guys, so I have swapped over to the Gun Drive provided by Integrum Retro. Link to where you can check him out will be down below in the description. So let's go ahead and check out some of these gun games that are on this drive. So, as you can see, we got Super Nintendo, Techno Parrot. Uh, you don't have to worry about calibration. You can just plug your uh, send in or your gun for IR in, and as long as you got those sensors turned on, everything should just work right out of the box. All right, so we got MAME, Xbox, Nintendo, Wii, uh, Steam, Dreamcast, Genesis. All of these different games in here, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, if it was a light gun game, it will work on here. So, for instance, let's just say if we wanted to play any of these games that were on the Super Nintendo, all of these games I'm pretty sure work with, if it wasn't like something like Lethal Enforcers, all of these, most of them work with the Super Scope 6, unless it was Lethal Enforcers, all right? So let's just say if you wanted to play Battle Clash. Let's go ahead and boot that up. And I got my gun right here. So you can already see I'm aiming at the screen and you can see how the cursor is on there. Let's go ahead and shoot the screen. Dead center right in the middle. No need to test my aim, boy. One player game. Um, time trial. No, I don't want to do time trials. Let's do the game. All right, so I'm standing about five, six feet away. We're going to New York, NYC. Okay. Who is this dude? I hear Flex and doing his thing. Who is this who challenges me? Don't worry about it. It's your boy D Thomas from NC. Let's skip all of this dialogue. Shoot the screen. And just like that, guys, we can put in work. Blocking my shots, bro. Pretty easy to do. So yeah, that's the Super Nintendo. V-Pin, Arcade, and Gun Games. Triple Threat, if you ask me.
Nice triple threat. All right, so let's try to save a few folks real quick. All right, let's get it, bro. Headshot. Critical shot, boy. Ooh. Was that a collateral? That was a collat kill, bruh. Single shot. Because I don't miss. Switch it back. Yep, let's go. Get out of the way, boy. See right through the wall. Let's go. Good shot. Watch out, fam. Y'all got to get out the way. I'm about to shoot my own. I don't want to shoot my teammates, bro, but they getting in the way. One more. Oh, I miss. I miss. There we go. Yeah, we got a situation. Let me see if I can do this real quick. All right, let's see if I can get this headshot, guys. Ooh. Hopefully, he didn't kill the hostage. <laughs> let's see. We got Time Crisis 5, Tomb Raider, Transformers. So we see that things are working pretty good in Tinker Parrot. Um, let's see, we don't need to calibrate. Xbox. What games do we got up in the Xbox? Silent Scope, Virtual Cop 3. Those are the only two games that are in here. Okay. Wii. What games we got cracking on the Wii? Oh, I got I think I have this game. Inside in my in my Wii stash, I think I might have this game. Big Buck Hunter, Ghost Squad. Let's see what else we got in here. We got House of the Dead, Link's Crossbow Training. <laughs> I never knew that was a thing. All right, we have Steam games in here. Let's see what kind of PC games we got up in here. Okay, so we got Pixel Crisis. It's like a fake version of Time Crisis. Typing of the Dead. Okay, Big Buck Hunter Arcade, Blue Estate. Blue Estate is a really dope game. Let's check this one out. Above his son County's view, the world of the sights of his becoming. He gave him the nightclub to run to get him back on the high road. But King Long said he kidnapped my client Cherry Pops. The only human Tony Luciano had ever wanted up to. And Tony couldn't even spell negotiation. All right. Any one of you that speaks a word of English, tell them movie twins you work for that I'm here for what's mine. Oh, did you hear me? I said, bring me cherry pops, or this desert eagle's gonna say it louder. One. Two. Oh. The were numbered in Tony's talents. He had to shoot first. Headshot. You hear me now? <laughs> I love my hair, but it's a little inconvenient. Get the hair out your face, bro. But for Tony, finding Cherry on his own called for stealth and deduction. You know, Tony had her a lot of bullets. Reload. All the headshots. Mm. If you ever played this game before, you know that this right here is an instant classic. Skip that. All right. I know that hurt, bro. <laughs> Back up, pump. 
you back up too. All right, so we see that this works pretty good. The club is open only to his armed employees while they audition the new girl and the auditions for tanking. Ooh, got a real live mermaid on deck. 36K. Oh, oh. Ooh, hold up now. Trying to shoot everybody in the head. All right, guys. So, I'll be playing this all day. <laughs> oh, reload. Reload. All right. So, we see that. The gains up in here work as well. And guys, this is pretty dope. Like I said before, having this is like a one-stop shop for all of your gaming needs. Let's back up out of here. What else do we got? That was Steam, Dreamcast. Let's see what titles they got up in Dreamcast. I knew House of the Dead 2 was up in here. Virtual Cop, Confidential Mission, that was really dope. I got that game on Dreamcast. I have that in here right now. But my light guns don't work for whatever reason. But like I said, guys, this right here is like your one-stop shop for all things gaming. Literally, you got like a mini gun cab in here, you got your virtual pinball in here, and then you can play some retro games as well. So overall, looking at this machine entirety as a whole, very happy, very satisfied. When you see, like I wasn't expecting to get, I wasn't expecting for this VPN to be this big because initially, whenever I was going with Extreme Gaming Cabinets, I was going to get a Gears of War mini pinball. But then I upped the ante and got the bigger one. And my gosh, it is a legitimate full-size cabinet. So yeah, guys. Wrapping this up, <laughs> this thing is monumental. You guys seen what the machine looked like? You seen the inside? You seen the outside? You seen all the all of most of the software? I couldn't show you everything because this video would have been crazy long. But it does have a whole lot to offer, and then some. You wouldn't get bored with this type of machine playing, having all of these uh, tables to play, and then on top of that, if you upgrade and get, you know, you got the light gun drive on here as well as all of those games that you can play. I mean, it's just a win-win all the way around. I'm not exactly sure what the wait time is for one of these cabinets right now. You will have to reach out to the owners, uh, Daryl and Donna. You have to reach out to them to find out. But rest assured, this thing is definitely worth every penny. You can see the craftsmanship in all of the premium materials that they put into this machine is definitely a work of art and a lot of love has went into this thing. So yeah, that's gonna be it for now, guys. All right, so there you have it. My review of Extreme Gaming Cabinets Super Mario Premium Virtual Pinball Machine. Guys, sound off in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts on this beast of a V-Pin. Do you like it? Do you love it? Is there anything you would change about it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this review, show some love. Give this video a thumbs up and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.